Hey everyone, Aaron here at Kite Paddle Surf. This review is going to be about soft handles versus the boom. I feel like this video is going to hopefully answer some of your questions on what the differences is, what the differences are, and how each wing reacts having the different type. So here we go, let's get started. Starting off with soft handles. This is kind of where winging was. It had the individual handles. Some of the wings still, ha still have them. A lot of them have gone to these, what they call the elongated handles, which is really nice and comfortable and allows you to fine tune where you hold the, the, the strap handle from. So you're not fixed to that one position. You can move along that handle, which is nice, especially riding toe side and you want to slide your hands down the handle. This makes it really nice instead of having to reach or change handle position. And then some of them come with a center handle as well. Then we have the boom over here, which some wings have. Uh, Slingshot has introduced their first version of the boom wing called the Javelin V1. This is a boom that is removed and then it's put back into place. This is a two piece boom. The smaller piece is for the smaller wings. Bolt, put them both together is for uh, four and a half meter and up. Uh, you install this before you pump it up to make it easier. What are the differences? So right away, weight is going to be more of an issue with the Javelin. There is more weight here. We have plastic, we have reinforcements. Even though this bar is carbon, it's got weight, it's got foam. There's these uh, toggle buttons here that, or the push buttons here that hold it together. All of those ounces add up to weight versus just a soft handle right here. For short, wing sessions under an hour i don't notice a difference when i was out for my session recently and it was uh, almost a two hour session the weight starts to add up you can definitely feel that weight in this wing i don't use a harness so it's the holding a wing becomes more wearing for me than someone that may use a harness if you're using a harness maybe the weight is not much of an issue for you getting into how the wings react so with a soft handle here when i'm up on foil and I'm cruising along and we get some wind, some turbulence, some gusty conditions, whatever the circumstances are, these soft handles almost act like an absorption to the wind. So the wing is literally moving, adjusting itself to the wind, which it makes it a very nice, cruisy, comfortable, very enjoyable session when you're on a wing like this. In gustier conditions, just like that, when you have the boom, you feel everything in the wing. And I mean that literally, like if it's smooth and clean, you just feel all that clean power. When it's gusty and punchy, you feel the wing moving forward and backwards, up and down. You, you get all those micro movements. If I were to compare it to kites, it would be more like, almost like a sea kite feeling. You just feel all the power and the grunt from the wing versus that more cruisy, soft, forgiving feeling with the straps. So what would be the advantages to both? The advantage to the boom is you feel like you have instant power. You don't necessarily have more, it just feels like you have more because of that stiffness in the canopy. Uh, the boom is great for learning uh, wing maneuvers. Like if you want to turn the wing a certain way or you want to really, really dial in your tacks, having that fixed strong maneuverable wing that you can move around with that one hand. So when I take this wing and I have it over my shoulder, putting it over my shoulder is not that challenging. Over here, over here. I can maneuver that whole wing with that boom very easily. Same maneuver with the strap. I'll show you right now how it looks. So here it is over here. Look at this, look at this. I have to like leverage my arm over and catch it over here. See that? Over my arm, watch this. Look at that. I have to use all the leverage from my forearm just to maneuver this wing over my shoulder. As you can see, having those soft handles is a real struggle if you wanna learn those tacks or some other basic wing flip trick maneuvers. I feel like if you're using this and you want to get those maneuvers down, you could take that skill set that you've based, that you've learned, put it onto this and really start to fine tune it on these handles. And you can definitely make it work on these handles. People already do. It makes it a lot easier. Like 
my success rate on my tax from toe to heel side was like 100% going to this wing, whereas on this one it was like 60%. Uh, jives is not really an issue having the softer rigid handles. So for surfing, I like the soft handles. I don't want to feel the wing behind me. I just want it to just drift behind me. Whereas with this one, with the boom, that added weight, uh, and I think other boom wings too, people that I've talked to, they have that issue of wanting to swing pendulum effect back and back, back and forth, which is you're, you're foiling, you're on the, the waves. The last thing you want to worry about is that wing flipping around behind you. So for surfing, I really like the soft handles. For more flat water tricks, jumping, I think the boom is great because you're doing all those is, you know, a big air and you want to start doing any maneuvers, having a place anywhere on the boom that you can grab is perfect versus the soft handles trying to find the perfect spot to grab the soft handle on. Finally, I want to talk about is if you're a beginner, you're getting into winging and you trying to figure out what type of a handle is best for you, this is how I want to break it down. It's very simple to grab a boom. It, there's so many areas that you can grab it. So I feel like the ease of use is definitely nice with the boom. However, I find with the straps and the handles, it puts your hands immediately in a place where you can generate power from the wing. So there's no guesswork. Whereas with the boom, I give it to a beginner. I show them, they get out on the water, their hands start to move all around. All of a sudden, they don't know exactly where their hands need to go. So I feel like if I was going to push a beginner into a wing, I like the idea of the soft handles. I think that's a great way to go. However, I can see where it just looks simpler and cleaner to have the boom. So it can work for beginners. It is also an option for those as well. So those are kind of the differences I want to talk about, about the soft handles versus the boom. And there's a lot of, some controversy on what people like. I think it comes down to preference, a lot like kites. There's just, there's, a, there's different types of kites for different types of riders. You know, the wave kites, and you have freestyle kites and free ride kites. So I feel like wings now, as wing foiling is getting popular, the style of wings are starting to change. And I feel like this is a great opportunity to show people the difference between the two wings. And some of these videos I'm gonna show you, I hope you can see the difference in the riding that it uh that it does having the two different types of handles okay well i hope this answers your questions guys thanks for tuning in to uh, another video like the video subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell so that when we get more videos out there for you guys you guys can get a first glimpse at them thanks again guys we'll see you guys on the next one bye